Hey, welcome back. Today I'm just sharing with you some really exciting news. I was uh, just cruising around YouTube yesterday and I stumbled upon my hero who actually has a channel and he doesn't even have that many subscribers. I'm like, I'm not usually a, like a rock star ah, type of girl, but when it comes to him, I'm like, I have to contain the stockiness. <laughs> I've already sent him a couple of messages. So I'm just like, pull it back, yes, pull it back. Don't go over the top. I've actually legit met rock stars in my life and um, was like, oh, whatever. Cause that's, that's not my thing. He is my thing. And his name is Peter Walsh. So I don't know if you ever heard of Peter Walsh, Walsh but um, He's an organizer, he's a professional organizer, and he did a show called Clean Sweep, which I was totally obsessed with. It came at the perfect time when I started um, decluttering my home, and his words of wisdom just like made it all clear to me, and I wanted to be just like him, and I started decluttering my home and helping other people declutter their home, and organizing became this crazy obsession, and it's all because of Peter Walsh. So, when I discovered him on here, I went like, oh, Slightly stalking him, slightly. I'm gonna contain it. I'm not gonna send him any more messages. <laughs> I've like legit met rock stars before in my life and was like, whatever. I didn't even know who they were. I have a story for you, which I'll share at the end, but um, I have a couple stories, but I <laughs> one really funny one I'm gonna share with you at the end. So I don't, all the people who don't wanna hear my ranting can can move on. But I'm going to put Peter Walsh's link below. He has a channel, it's some weird Listerine thing he's doing. Um, obviously it's like a sponsored channel, which is slightly disappointing that he's selling out a little bit, but it's Peter Walsh, so I don't care. He still has great info and he's giving, you, you'll be, if you watch his channel, you'll be like, wow, Cassandra copied everything from him. Yes, yes, I did, because I've read his books, all of his books. I've purged all my organizing books except the Peter Walsh ones. <laughs> Such a nerd. But he helped me. He transformed me from this person who was a complete disaster into somebody who is slightly less of a complete disaster. So I have all his books. I watch him all the time, he's been on Oprah, um, and he has a YouTube channel right here on YouTube, and I feel like YouTube is like this little community where it's like a neighborhood and I live on the block, so I sent him a message and I was like, ah, I wanna do a collab video, and it's like, crickets, crickets. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, of course he's not gonna reply to me. I just, um, I see it as like a community, right? We all live here and we're all friends, and I'm like, oh, he's on YouTube too, we can be besties. It doesn't work like that, but that's cool. Anyways, I'm telling you about it because you need to go. You need to subscribe. He's like the guru, the king of organization, and we are so lucky that we get to hear it from him on a weekly basis. Uh, so I'll put the link below. Check it out. Peter Walsh. I know, that's a little embarrassing, but it's true. Okay, so... Um, and end of the video. So um, for all of you who want to hear my rock star story, um, I've actually, when I was younger, I went to a lot of concerts and I met some great bands, um, but I wasn't like, ah, I was never really so into music that it was like a big deal to meet um, the bands. Some of them were, 5440 was awesome. I Mother Earth, Our Lady Peace, went backstage, hung out with all those guys um, a couple of times. But uh, if you don't live in Canada and you're not old like me, you probably have no idea who those people are. I Mother Earth has since broke up, which is very sad. But anyways, uh, the rock star I met, <laughs> I had a really good friend who um, tuned guitars for various bands and he traveled all over the place in their like bus um, working for these bands. Some of which you probably heard of, I'm not going to mention them all. He worked for a ton over time, and anytime he was home, we used to hang out. One time he took me to, a few times, but one time in particular, he took me to um, a concert, and we were backstage because um, he got to go backstage with all the guys, and we're all like hanging out, and they were drinking, and um, somebody came up to me in like this weird hat, <laughs> and he's like, hey, what's up? And I was like, not much. He's like, I'm Chad. I was like, oh. Nice. Okay, I gotta go. He's like, don't you know who I am? And instantly he was like really angry. 
I was like, no, I have no idea who you are. And he's like, I'm only the biggest band in Canada. And he like got really angry and was like, you just watched my concert. And um, I still, I couldn't put the pieces together. <laughs> Cause I don't really pay attention to that type of stuff. I don't know. I hear bands on the radio and their like name comes up now on my, on my thing. And I'm like, oh, I met them with, with the guy that I was friends with. Um, anyways, so he stormed off. He was like so ticked off that I didn't know who he was. My friend come over and he's like, oh, what'd you, what'd you say? Why was he so mad? I'm like, I have no idea who that is. And he's like, that is the lead singer of Nickelback. <laughs> I'm like, I've heard of them, I think, on the radio. So um, funny story. Uh, he was a giant douche. <laughs> So that's my that's my story. That's that's my rock star story. But um, I would have recognized Peter Walsh. So anywhere, I would be that person that's like, oh my god, gonna take a picture with you uh, over Peter Walsh. So check out his channel. I love him. Did I mention that I love him? He's amazing. Totally my hero. So I'll put the link below. It's a really long video. Sorry about that. See you next time.